Hi, my name is Georgia from Vienna, Australia. I'm a physiotherapist and expert in pelvic floor physiotherapy. And today I want to talk to you about vulvodynia. So vulvodynia is a term used to describe pain at the vulva. So literally vulva means vulva and dynia means pain. So anytime those two words come together, it normally means pain located somewhere. So vulvodynia literally is pain somewhere at the vulva. Vestibulodynia means pain at the entrance of the vagina. So the vestibule is the entrance of the vagina. It's the medical term for the entrance of the vagina. And dynia still just means pain. So those two terms are really just describing where the pain's local, local, localized, located. So when we're talking about treatment for these things or even what caused it in the first place, it's all really about the skin and the nerves and the musculature that underlie the skin and the nerves that are normally producing the pain. So sometimes vestibulodynia or vulvodynia is provoked and sometimes it's spontaneous. So a provoked vulvodynia might occur after say thrush or it might occur after a vulva surgery or a um, gynecological exam or something where there was an obvious event that happened and then you had residual pain afterwards. It could also happen spontaneously. So you've got no idea why it's happened. You've woken up one day and you might be a little bit tender and that tenderness might get more and more to the point where now touching the entrance of the vagina is, is producing quite a bit of pain or discomfort. So in either of those cases, normally it's an over-exaggeration to the nerves, the muscles and the skin that are trying to protect you. Our bodies are so smart. So at some point they detect that there might be danger to the area and they give you an exaggerated pain response that sometimes can hang along a little bit too long in order to make sure that you're taking care of yourself and you're looking after that area. But once the threat's over, if you had thrush and you no longer had thrush and your body's still giving you pain, we need to retrain the muscles, nerves and skin to know that touch isn't a threat anymore, that pressure isn't a threat anymore and you don't have to give me pain signals anymore. In fact, can I please have a pleasure signal because I wanna have sex with my partner. So we need to start desensitizing the area. That initially might just start with light touch. It might then progress to something like dilator therapy where there's some penetration and eventually it might progress to um, full penetration with a partner. We've got a video on how to desensitize the vulva, which I will link below and have a look at that for some different treatment options. But if you've been diagnosed with vulvodynia or if you're having or vestibulodynia and you're having pain at the entrance of the vagina and you're not yet diagnosed, ask your GP. GP or your gynecologist, or if you're seeing a public floor physio, even better, if that's something that they could consider for you. Do I have vulvodynia? Could you refer me to a public floor physio to see what my treatment options are? If you have any questions or if you want to learn more information about pelvic pain, vulvodynia, etc., you can head to our website, bn.com.au, or let us know if you have any questions.